What's up everybody? This is the chosen individual here and today is a very special day. It is 6 p.m. I just came back from school. Well, I, did, I came back at like 12. But still, today is a very important day because today I have made uh, some bits of progress here and there. For starters, I finally have a weapon. The Benelli Auto Shotgun. There is just one problem, <laughs> that the ammunition is horribly expensive. And the buckshot is not made with um, polymer, Mr. HPM. It is made with paper. In any case, uh, that, that statement is probably going to age poorly. But hey, we've got a weapon now, and I've also finally finished my big... Improved blast furnace, which with the power of lava allows me to create uh, insane amounts of steel, advanced alloy, uh, red copper, what, whatever I need, much, much faster and a little bit cheaper than with the regular old blast furnace. And I, I've also gotten more dash ingots, and I also have more rare earth ore in my inventory, because today we are going to be making the ore acidizer. Now, I am going to have to look for somewhere uh, to place this, because my shop is just, it's just, I'm probably going to have to place it outside somewhere. So we're going to need four dash ingots, so half of that. Uh, let's put the other half in there. I wonder what happened to my pickaxe. Just kind of disappeared. There it is. Its durability is pretty low, but hey, I'm going to have to deal with it. I'll empty that later. And, well, let me just also store this rare earth ore for later. And we're going to need two motors, which we already have from opening crates, which is a blessing in disguise. Uh, we're also going to need four pieces of glass, which for which we need sand. So let's grab that. And maybe, just maybe, today, if things go right, we might be able to make our very first Chicago pile. The problem is, I don't know where I'm going to make it. I want to make it as far away from my base right now, because I don't really want to run the risk of the possibility of uh, a meltdown and subsequently destroying everything in my base and radiating it and having to go through cleanup duty, which is going to be really annoying. So I'll check that out. Right, we have these three. Now we need 16 titanium. Titanium. I've also made some more, uh, sand well, I didn't make them. I found them in a desert atom structure. So that's pretty cool. And I've also moved the arc welder to accommodate this. Wow, is it seriously that slow? Okay. That's... That's great. Do I have a speed... No, I don't. It's all my speed upgrades. I have one here. Well, that's uh, going to take a second. Are you sure it's not here? Nope. Absolutely not. Oh, I I just realized I have fluid barrels. Uh, that are filled with diesel. Which is, uh, good because I have diesel. Bad because I- oh, there's titanium in here, isn't it? Yep. Well, uh, it's gonna take too long to wait for the centrifuges anyway, so we might as well. 
Just take this on over and boom, start pressing them. Yep, this process is horribly slow. That is some eerie noises. Thank you. Now we're also going to need four welded steel plates, which means that we are going to need cast steel plates, which means that we are going to need to smelt some steel in our, uh, forgery, kind of. I also kind of want to automate steel production, kind of, but... Like, I think it'll be a big project to take on, and it would just be best if I did a survival guide. I mean, a creative guide on it or something. That would be insanely easier. Thank you. Pull you out, and pull you out too. One, two. Mold, mold. I'm going to just split that up. that it creates enough steel. How many do we need? We need four, and that gives us one. So we're gonna need a lot more. We're gonna need a lot more. Oh no, we're losing heat. Okay, four, we are going to need eight, if I'm not wrong. If my maths aren't off, which they probably are, we should need only eight. Six. Eight. Yeah, I definitely have a lot more than we need. But that's good. That's, that doesn't really matter, because we have a, a crap ton of them anyway. A crap ton of steel, sorry. And I was uh, researching an RBMK model for the survival series, so I'm doing some testing on it. Uh, I will include the document uh, which has the components uh, in it in the description. Uh, so yeah, it's a Google Drive link, by the way, so there's probably going to be some, like, five-year-old kid who's gonna or some i don't know some other youtuber is gonna post oh my chosen is posting malware on this channel no i'm not it's literally a document that i made i spend like well, i don't know like half an hour on it all right i just opened my water bottle which is not good because if i spill it i am going to cry water Alright, we're also going to need some steel pipes, which means we're going to need 27 steel ingots for the blocks. Oh no. And then we're going to need four, so six times four. Hold on, I'm. I. I can't. Concentrate on two things at once. Let me just let's do it the easy way. Let's pull out the calculator. Remember all of those teachers who said, "Oh, you won't have a, a calculator always on you." Those teachers are fucking dumb and probably dead by now. Yeah, that's clearly not gonna work. Wait, what's that? Steel bolts. Hmm. Doesn't seem overly important. Oh shoot. I say see. I forgot. We're gonna need three of these. That's one set of steel pipes. Okay. 
What was I trying to calculate? I forgot. Ah, yes. Uh, 6 times 4 is 24. So we're gonna need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. There we go. And then we need to turn those into big steel shells. There we go. So now I'm pretty sure the only component we're missing is... Oh, advanced alloy. Advanced alloy. They barely have any. Let's make some. Never hurts. Actually, no, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. I only need... Uh... Eight plates. And two ingots, okay. I have only two left over. That's fantastic. I it doesn't matter. Hang on, let me go over to our beautiful crafting table. Advanced uh alloy shredder blades, we can't seem to stack them, which is weird. Let's start putting all the components in the assembly machine because otherwise I'm going to be carrying them around and... Huh. Let's go to the achievement for Dash for no reason. Now, the real pain in my head is going to be these overclocked circuits. Because I don't know... Yeah, I definitely don't... I need enhanced circuits, which I think I have one here, yes. So we're going, it's made in the chemical plant, need uh, also four gold wires. Gold, one, two, three, four, there we go. And, well, let me just take a screenshot of this and put it on the other screen you know what that that is like i think my brain just expanded a little bit <laughs> i had never thought of doing that before oh i forgot my second screen is disconnected where is the hdmi straps on the desk There we go. There we go. Now we should be in business. Alright. <laughs> Good. Now we need some polymer. One. And some lapis lazuli. Whoops. Lapis. Well, it's powder, but that doesn't really matter. We can just... Throw it in there. Uh, the problem being, we're also going to be in requirement of some hydrogen peroxide. Which I don't think I have any tanks or anything for. I... no. Tank... Yes, I do have an infinite water tank, which is good. Maybe I should just make it... I only need how much? Oh gosh, I keep... You see, I, I like get tunnel vision in these moments. I I don't even look to my second screen, which is where I need to look. Oh wait, that actually doesn't tell me the quantity. But I'm assuming that is enough. Let's grab these tanks. Fill them up. I definitely need to reorganize my shop whenever I decide to move because it's finally going to be soon. Pretty sure only one should be fine. The rest I can just put them into there. Uh, yeah, there's enough. But I also need petroleum gas. Oh no, that's annoying.
You know what's very annoying? It's it's the fact that I don't have anywhere to place all these liquids. And if I if I put it right in there, I'm wasting material, which is an absolute disaster. And don't make another barrel. Fuck it, let's just go with the barrel. It will probably save my ass in the long term, in the long run anyway. I hope I remember how to make it. Well, that's great. I don't seem to have any tar, which is exactly what I need. I'm sure I have none. No, no. No. We have to go to our little combination furnace up here. Oh, wait, I'm not even... Uh. I need... Well, first of all, I need fuel for the furnace, because... I can't just go out there like it's nobody's business. And I also need, actually I think it's only what need you I'm pretty sure it is not that's Wood. I'm gonna need some um, tanks to carry it. This is the struggle of living as an idiot. There we go. We should have enough for exactly one. I am not a person that plans for the future. In fact, I don't even plan to be alive tomorrow, so that's great. It's great that we only have one, because I am not wasting material. I don't know, no, it just landed behind me, but I don't... Is that an octopus? Alright, time to see a new shotgun in action. You're gonna be his first contender. That's one. That's two. <laughs> Alright. That is not enough, I need more. Excuse me, sir. Uh, every round is like a punch in the gut. Like, no joke. It is. Like, that. the ammo is that expensive. One, one piece of polymer creates 12 rounds. And 12 rounds isn't even an entire magazine. It's only half of an entire magazine. Perfect. Oh, hello. Mm, where are there so many mobs? Um, ah, yes, I need to put it in there. Oh, shh. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, so you want to know something really funny? It fucking forces you to have a barrel. Oh, man. Which means that I have essentially wasted my time. Hooray for me. 
Man, such an idiot. Like, is all of this light oil even important? I don't even know. Let's transfer some of it to this tank. Ah, uh, frick it. I'm just gonna nuke all of this. I don't want to waste any more time. You know what would really help? Uh, does a pipette even work for this? Uh, cannot handle corrosive liquids. Oh, it's actually really cheap. If I had lithic, which I don't, I know how to get it. Screw it, I just. I just don't like not like care anymore. What, what's up with all these, all of this getting like rediscovered? Hello, sir. You seem to have dodged my shots. <laughs> oh no, that is a lot. Oh my god, that is a lot of skeletons. That is a lot of skele. Holy crap. That is a lot of skeletons. Oh my sweet Jesus. You bet your sweet buns that I'm not going there. Yep. Yep. Just right back to the base. What the hell happened over there? Get back inside. What are you upgrading up to? Okay, I don't even need five. I'll need four. I don't know why only dandelion dandelions, but hey, it's HBM, not me. Boom, and please say I have some leftover glass. I do not. I think I need just three pieces. I'm gonna guess and hope for the best. And guessing is not the best. Okay. So we have the materials for the, for the, um, ore acidizer, I'm pretty sure. And I don't already have the template here, which means that I'm gonna go in a little bit of a, of a hellhole trying to, you know. Man, that lava is so good. I don't think I even needed three, I needed like two, but hey. I was about to say it's always worth it to have some leftover materials, but that's false. Alright, good. We have successfully transferred a gas with a pipe pad. There we go. And that hydrogen peroxide can be nuked. Just like a Discord server. Paper, 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 paper. We just need a die. I like using sulfur because it's really cheap and really easy to come by. You know what? I didn't expect that pipette to be so efficient. Uh, um, or acidizer. Thank you. And we are in business, boys! Our first dash creation. Oh, I could have made it. Oh, never mind. I need four on glass. That is expensive as heck. Hey, I have the ore acidizer. W. Ooh. So that's that's one objective of today. Ow. Now we just have to figure out where to put it. I really don't want to go out into the open to use the ore acidizer. Mm -hmm. 
How tall is it? More than this room. Oh, by the way, uh, here is all, everything that I got, uh, from the, uh, the Desert Atom structure. Also got these cool little tanks. And I don't know where I'm gonna put it. You know what, let's just do it this way. I will probably never need these elevator, uh, elevator, uh, ladder pieces. So let's just make a dedicated, should we make a dedicated room for it? That is for radioactive experiments. So there's only three blocks. So, oh, no, there you go. So in here, we should have things like... I frankly don't know. Let's just, let's just make like another space of the shop because I can expand this all the way over there and it hopefully won't pop up the top that is kind of my biggest concern for now oh, no more of durability but i also need to access its for okay screw it it's gonna be here you can hear the the steam engine very close Great. Wait, do you know what would be even cooler? Getting rid of that portion and then making that like into some sort of um what you call it? Like like a sort of Like a sort of underground and above ground section. Oh, I feel like that would be just so cool. Okay, I don't know how tall this thing is. I don't know. Are you sure it's three blocks chosen? <laughs> Are you sure that it's only three blocks uh, wide? Because I am starting to become a little unsure of that. The fear not, I am the greatest engineer that's ever lived. I have no need to, for concern. Yeah, so, so fear not, I am, I, prefer, I know perfectly what I'm doing. There we go. It is, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. it is seven blocks tall. Gosh, now this feels really cross the full streak. Uh, I'm starting to regret putting it here. But hey, that is not a concern. Now, you know what is a concern? The fact that my pickaxe just broke. I need wood, two sticks, and oh, I'm just gonna make a new pickaxe. It has tons of durability anyway, so it's not something that I see me do very often, is it? Perfecto? I think it has like 5,000 durability or something. Alright, I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, but I have to connect this to the grid just somehow. Which is going to be a challenge, considering the fact that... Okay, so it is right here. I can accept energy from here. That's right in my decontaminator spot. But I think I should just place this that in the yeah yeah I think I'm just gonna place that in the radioactive materials room because that's where it's needed. I saw something lag out and that's never never a good sign. Forgot to put it in the floor. My apologies. 
in the floor it just looks so much more good, so much more organized. Like, I'm usually very disorganized, as you can see from the absolute dumpster fire mess that is this place. But gosh, if, 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 if there's one of the features that I'm keeping off, it's definitely this one. And for some reason, it's not accepting energy. Do you think tip top? Let's test that theory. It is. Okay, great. I told you. The greatest engineer that's ever lived. No need for concern, boys. I really do not want to make this whole room equal. Because that is just going to be... That is just going to be torture. Like, that is just going to be... Willingly torturing myself. For views. It's also very dark in here, which is probably get some torches. But hey, for the largest part... The acidizer, we have it, and I'm about to use it to create some dash, which we will then be using to, um, crap, 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 crap. Well, this looks very unorganized. I'll, I'll polish it up by the next video. Don't you worry. Remember, fear not, I am the greatest engineer that's ever lived. Go there. All these spaces feel so cross claustrophobic, but they also feel like super cool. I like that a bunch. It's like it's like my own style. If you're wondering why the usual FPS counter and whatnot isn't showing up. That is because of the fact that I I don't even know how to explain it. I... I uh, deleted Optifine because it was giving me some issues with the RBMK testing world that I was talking about earlier. It's... It was the already test... Uh, please don't make me... That's gonna make me... That's great. Oh, well. Uh... All of you in there, all of you in there. Alright, good. Now we just need a uh, coal. Eerie noises. Oh, I don't have any of my special abilities anymore. This has 3,000 durability. This lasted me for a really, really long time. There we go. Perfecto. Now we just make them into torches. Natural coal, give me the coal, put the coal in there. Go up here and place the torched coals. One. Yeah, one. I'm not- I'm not wasting my time into making this symmetrical. I- I can already tell that that is going to be a big failure, so... Just not do it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it not being symmetrical for once. Although it is extremely dark. Oh man, hold on, let me prop myself up here so I can actually... Get rid of all that leftover stone. Oh! God damn it. That's not coming. It's. Oh my god, it's making me. The game is making me jump through hoops. Don't test my patience, because it's pretty low. So I just started school again, and my brain is fried. Okay, it was KFC. One. 
two, three, four. Good. Good, 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 good. And I built the ore acidizer without something in mind. And that is that you do need different types of acid. Depending on what you're going to make. So let's just... Ow! Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, uh. We need sulfuric acid. That is actually not a big concern whatsoever. I'm pretty sure it's an 80 hydrogen peroxide. And sulfur too, but... This is, um... Leave that making hydrogen peroxide for a little bit. And we're going to put you there. But it won't do anything because well, I have no acid inside, of course. I think that's definitely more than enough. I am still going to have to request a barrel. Okay, that's cheap and easy. It's not a tank, it's a barrel. Alright, that's... Actually, that's just... I keep making until all the barrels are full. Just because I don't want to waste my time. Actually, it's only 16,000 millibuckets, so... Oh, god damn it. Well, I'm not... Uh, this is only for the input. The steel barrel is going to be for other purposes. Wood. Thank you, my good man. Identify yourself. My good, finally. It's going to take a really long time. Uh, here we go. Actually, I think I'm just gonna have them in some, like, backup or whatever. Man, that took an absolute eternity to fill the second barrel. Oh, wait, I already have three. Okay, no need. I was just run out of power, which is fantastic. Alright, get you out. Get you in. I don't have any power. Why is that? Because it's nighttime. That's why. Sleep. Alright, good. Now, we simply... Well, first of all, we have to create this steel bag. Actually, we need the salt. We need, we need you. And we just need some sulfur. So let's grab about... 12? That should be enough. Let that do its thing. Alright, steel barrel. That's good. That's good. <laughs> God damn it. I love making a fool of myself. Now we need some dots. I really want to use these. And they are... Pretty expensive, that's fantastic. So we're gonna have to use... Aluminium. Aluminium and... 
We're not gonna need many, so let's just put that in there. How many have you made? 6,000. Oh wow, the sulfur ran out. Let's just put all of it in there, because I, I get loads of sulfur ore anyway, so shouldn't be a big concern. Thank you. Just search that up. There we go. Thank God it wasn't nitric acid or some other dumb bullshit, because we could have taken a real time. Alright, so we have 10,000. Let's make until 16,000. Well, let's make until one barrel. Because it's not hard to make whatsoever. Uh, I need a sulfuric acid. So I need. Well, okay, that's full. Fantastic. We're gonna need one iron. We're gonna need some dye. Just use that. I have no shame at this point. Thank you. Sulfuric acid. Thank you. Did I even get it? Ah, yes, I did. Okay, good. I thought I lost it for a second. Boom. Thank you very much, my good man. There we go. Up here, and... Well, first of all, we identify that with sulfuric acid. Then we put that in there. So it's extract. And we'll begin the... Really slow, necessary process to turn this into what we need. So, let's start making the graphite in the meantime. So we're going to need loads of, loads of coal dust. Which means that my filter is probably about to get freaking destroyed. Oh, wait, I can't actually... Oh, it's for the flat stamp. Ah. I need bricks. I need clay. One, two, three. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what did I else say I needed? I needed clay. I also needed obsidian to make a flat stamp. Look at how fast it's going down. Look at how fast it's going down. Get out of a lot of them. That's not it. Oh, whoops. One, two, three. I just realized we haven't been to the nether in a really long time. Uh. Which. I don't know what to tell you. I just don't like it there. Apparently plutonium can spawn there, but... Okay, and then we smelt it, and then it turns into cold coke. I think we're about to waste this entire stamp on just the cold briquettes. That's amazing. Alright, so all the rare earth crystals that I showed you earlier, they have, they have finally, oh my god, they have finally finished processing, and now we need to centrifuge them, and we should get 16 dash blend. In theory, if all goes well, we should get 16 dash plant, and the reason for that is that well, my plant, all my stamps are pretty depleted, and right now I need another flat stamp because uh, to process the cold coke into uh, into graphite, you're gonna need again a flat stamp, and the dash ones never run out, so you know. 
You never know. Actually, wait, wait a minute. I think... Oh, no. I'm pretty sure, yep. I need Saturnite. Oh, I can actually make it. It's actually pretty cheap. So I guess we'll be... Yep, 16 Dash Blend and 32 Zirconium Splinters. Zirconium are gonna need for the RBMK. We're gonna need some Mercury to make some beautiful Dash Ready Blend. And from there, we can simply acidize it. Actually, hold on a minute. Yeah, I need. I also need some coal, which I just spent all of it. That's great. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, perfect. Boom. We need more mercury. How is oh wait, never mind. There is uh there is a thousand mercury here. Just drop pop it open, there we go. Good job I saved that, because otherwise we would be absolutely destroyed right now. And perfect, now we have 16 dash ready blend, and we just need to acidize it with hydrogen peroxide. So, we're gonna need another. God damn it. Why are there so many types? Why? Well, does it even matter too much? I don't even know if it matters too much. Okay, let's just make it a... See, this is, uh, this is uh, okay, you know, I'm just gonna do the process off camera. You, you just, you just have a good time. Good. 2,000 years later, I finally have a barrel. I didn't even make it. I just stole it from one of my other machines. Which is why it's full of water when it really shouldn't be. I... I no way I don't have a hydrogen peroxide identifier. Say with me, everyone. The greatest engineer that's ever lived. Oh, wait, right. I forgot I need a fucking play. Oh, wow. Still a plate stand, but some durability, but. God, the system for creating these identifiers and things is absolutely terrible. It's uh it's a freaking joke. Finally, now we can put this in there. Oh, wait, so I didn't fall so far, I guess. <laughs> there we go. This process is also gonna be really long and slow, so in the meantime, I'm gonna make some Saturnite. 
but it will be off camera because this video is it is just the it is just a mess. So I'll see you in a sec. Oh my god, it has been a long time, but finally. So I made some Saturnite, and I also made, uh, most of my stamps dash, which means that they will finally never break again. And I also have eight dash left over, which I guess we'll use at some point. But we finally have graphite ingots. And we need to make them into graphite blocks. That is our mission at this current moment. All right, twenty two graphite blocks. Let's hope for the best because I really don't want to make more. Let's go over to our radioactive materials lab. Should we even do this? I no, I think it's a, I think it's a bad idea to have it like right in here. It's it's a terrible idea because I know I'm gonna end up blowing something up. But I don't know where else to put it. Mm -hmm. It could be right there. I mean, it would be pretty unprofessional, but it would certainly work. I don't know. I think I'm gonna think about that off camera because it's really late and I really want to play some other things before going to bed. So that's gonna be it from today uh, for today for me guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching We made some really really good advancements today. We finally have graphite Which means that we can finally begin building our beautiful Chicago pile And once we have that we will be unstoppable Well kind of I kind of do want to make a new base so if I'll, I'll make a community post and letting you guys know where the new base will be. Well, not where the new base, but if I am making it so that... Ow. Crap. So that, you know, you guys know that I have to dig out a bunch of stuff. Because I am going to make it underground too. And so just, just, just be patient, okay? Just be patient. Alright, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Remember to leave a like and subscribe and give me your thoughts, opinions, and tips in the comments because even though I am the greatest engineer that's ever lived, I do also need my help sometimes. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been The Chosen Individual. I remember to... well, god damn it. I, I, never, get the in, I never get the outro order right. I remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, as well as join my Discord. It will be down in the beautiful description box from where you will be able to access it. And I'll be posting some updates there. I remember to also check the description uh, for the RBMK document, which is going to have all the materials and the layout of the RBMK reactor that I'm using for the survival series, just in case you want to use it yourself. Oh my god, these skeletons are so annoying. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you. Oh my god, okay, that's a lot of them, but my gun is out of ammo, so I can't shoot them. Thank you so much for watching. This has been The Chosen Individual, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, gamers.